Hello everybody, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today is how to dismantle a DFS sofa bed. Now this one is a three-seater. It's very, very heavy. I'll show you how to take apart the sofa bed mechanism inside and then get off the arms just to remove all the heavy parts so it's a lot more manageable to get into the back of a van and take to your local recycling. Right, let's get cracking. This is the three-seater sofa bed here and I've already removed the cushions from the top. Now the first thing you need to do is just lay it onto its front. So just tip it over and just leave it resting there. Now I'll go around the back. And what you want to do is you just want to push this sofa bed mechanism out slightly. Just be careful with your hands or your fingers there. That gives you access to the bolts on either side. So you've got a bolt there and a screw. And at the top, you've got a bolt and a screw. So you've got four fixings on either side for the actual mechanism. Whilst I'm showing you that, there's a link above about how to clean UPVC window frames so they stay clean. Now the bolts on this particular sofa are 13 millimeter bolts. So just remove the top one by turning it anti-clockwise. And I'll just speed this footage up. So you've got one at the top there and you've got one more at the bottom. Again, turning this anti-clockwise and you'll notice the screw next to it, the crosshead screw, we'll be removing that later on. But first of all, we'll go to the other side and remove the two retaining bolts on there. There's a link above now about how-to guides for various washing machines. Lots of good stuff in there like how to install a new washing machine, how to clean your filter pumps, etc. Okay, I've removed the bolts on the other side as well. Now we're just going to remove the screws. So get your crosshead screwdriver and just turn this anti-clockwise. Again, I'm going to speed this footage up. So I'm just removing the one at the top. And then the one on the other side. And luckily for me, I've found my electric screwdriver. So this is now going to be a lot easier. You can see how filthy and dirty sofas get. So apologies for the mess at the back of the sofa. Okay, just give that a wiggle and pull that out. And now the top bit has become loose. Now we just need to remove the screw at the bottom. And there's a link above now about how to clean the inside of your thermos flask the easy way. Right, let's just pull this screw out. There we go. So that whole mechanism is now loose. And we've just got to remove the screw on the other side. And then we're ready to remove the whole sofa bed mechanism. If you've got someone to help you, that's good, they can hold onto the sofa bed just in case it starts moving about. I'm just going to pull this out with a pair of pliers. And there we go. Right, we're now ready to remove the whole sofa bed mechanism. Now I'm going to go around the front and then push it through the back. And I've tied up the sofa bed there with an old shoelace just to stop it all folding outwards. I'm just pushing it through. Again, if you've got someone to help you, that will make it a lot easier. So just using a bit of brute force. Giving it a bit of a wiggle. And there we go, just pull it out of the sofa. We can just fold that down onto the floor. Whilst I'm doing this, there's a link above now about how to transfer everything from your old iPhone to a brand new iPhone so that your new iPhone is identical to your old iPhone. So there's the whole sofa bed mechanism there. And here is the rest of the sofa. 
Now what we're going to do is just remove the arms just so it makes it easier to get it to the local recycling. So you've got a bolt at the bottom here and we've got two bolts at the top and these are holding the arms on. So again this is a 13mm nut so just remove these anti-clockwise. I'm just going to speed this footage up. So that's those three bolts removed and we'll just do the same on the other side. So then now that is all six bolts removed, three from either side. Now the armrest should just literally just prise off. So let's just give it a push. And there we go, that's simple. Absolutely brilliant right now let's just do the other end the only reason i'm doing this is because it just makes it much more manageable to lift and get it into the van and get it down to the tip as a whole sofa bed it was so heavy even with two people it was a real struggle to lift it so this just makes it a lot easier and that's all we've got left of the sofa and there's a link above now about how to check car fuses without having to remove them using a multimeter. And I've just managed to get the entire sofa and all the mechanism and the cushions into the back of my Volkswagen T5. So I'm happy about that. Now let's go to the local recycling. Oh, nice van. And then you just need to put it into the appropriate area. If you would like more videos on how to save you time and money, then please press the subscribe button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, everyone. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab.